Let's get over to Lacey Swope to talk about that. Saturday is the day, Lace. What do you got for it us? It looks fantastic. All there will right. be nothing weather-wise to impact you coming up for your Saturday other than oh. the heat, which, hey, by Saturday, we're going to be used to the heat, right? We've been dealing with it for the last week, and now we're seeing this heat wave continue to crank on up. In fact, today, 96 degrees. The record high today, 100, set back in 1954. It will be close. Think the record's safe. Tomorrow, the record's definitely in jeopardy. It's 97 for your Wednesday. We have a bit of a cool day coming up Thursday just in time for the first official day of fall. It's a nice front, but we do heat it back up into your weekend before our next front arrives, and that's going to be on Sunday. Here's how we're shaping up across the country. A couple storm systems riding the jet stream up to the north, not impacting us. Don't get excited with those cold fronts. That does not arrive today. We are under the heat dome, and we also have major Hurricane Fiona we'll be talking about in just a little bit. Our skies are clear. This is our Pike Pass Sky Cam Network live from Integris, Northwest Expressway, Lake Hefner Parkway. It it is 76 south winds are up and our temperatures are warming into the 80s quickly now 83 in Guthrie 82 in Kingfisher northwestern Oklahoma and even the northern sides of the metro could top out close to 100 degrees again today and it's muggy you can feel the thickness in the air today 68 degrees is the dew point value when you get dew points in the upper 60s and the low 70s that is muggy for sure we've got dew points in the 70s down across southern Oklahoma so there's already a heat index to talk about it feels like the mid even upper 80s in portions of Oklahoma here at 9 15 in the morning. Our live wind gusts 5 to 15, some gusts to 25 in the far northwest. And through the day today, we warm into the 90s at noon already and 96 degrees by 3 o'clock. Southwest winds at 10 to 20. So here are the forecast highs for later today. Ponca City approaching 98, 96 in Stillwater, 96 in Ardmore, mid upper 90s all across the west. And this very warm, humid air mass has made it from the Gulf all the way up now into the Midwest. Iowa, Des Moines setting at 79 degrees, 82 in Kansas City. Of course, the Rockies much cooler. You're getting to the high elevation to find that. And then we get into the 30s up in Canada and the really cold air still tucked up to the north, but we've got a cold front. It will bring some of that Canadian air down to the south. Watch this front swing on through. It's the first of two. It moves in on Thursday. Heat dome gets squashed a little bit. We turn cooler briefly, but the second front doesn't approach until we get into your Sunday. That's a stronger one, has more of a lasting impact for at least a few days before we start to crank the heat back up by the end of next week. Now we need the rain. We need moisture, that's for sure. They've just been getting too much rain, tropical rain with this major hurricane that's been ongoing over the last couple of days. Now out over Turks and Caicos, the eye of it's been disrupted just a little bit, but this thing's cranking out winds of at least 115 miles per hour, expected to become a cat four as we go into the overnight hours tonight, but it should stay out over the Atlantic the way it looks, not making landfall on the East Coast. Overnight tonight, still very mild, lower mid 70s, close to record warm lows for your Wednesday, close to record highs Wednesday afternoon. But here comes the front. By tomorrow afternoon, this thing's going to be moving into the panhandle and it will have a chance to bring a few showers and storms up near Guymon. And then as it makes its way into the main body of the state tomorrow night into Thursday morning, there's a slight chance of a shower, expecting most locations to stay dry. And we look dry here in Oklahoma City. The front swings on through and here's your Thursday. It will feel better. Lower humidity a north wind 70s and 80s along and north of I-40. South of I-40 still holding on to summertime mid upper 80s and even 90s in the far southeast and we do start to warm it back up as we make our way into your Friday. So Friday morning in the 50s Friday afternoon 90s very hot into your Saturday and then Sunday here comes the cold front with a chance of rain at 20 percent and then we see lows in the 50s. It'll feel great next week to start off highs only in the low 80s. That's your nine day. We're back with what caught my eye right after this.